My name is Jessica Goki. I'm from Hayward, Wisconsin. When I do my beadwork, I draw on inspiration of traditional Ojibwe beadwork that our ancestors did, and I try to use the patterns that they use into my own work. It's been an amazing experience. It's helped me take my art to the next level. Being able to look at the pieces up close and see the details in the beadwork and the floral patterns has helped me in my work to be able to incorporate more older patterns. What amazes me is how did they do that 100 years ago or 200 years ago? It's mind blowing. <laughs> We have lavender, sage, fiddlehead, and elderberry. We're just, we're really trying to create a community. Then you have sumac, willow, New England aster, white pine shoot. Her work is just sensational. And what did she say? It was like 340 hours of beadwork. She talked about her process and she talked about her inspiration. And it comes from a, um, a deep tradition and it's not just something that's meant for ornamentation. It has a lot, it resonates with meaning. The lines aren't pre-drawn. Looking at the collections was inspiring because it's like looking at your ancestors, their history and culture. I really enjoy teaching and being able to teach my apprentice Terry on a one-on-one -on -one has been a great experience. I think uh, this apprenticeship is just the tip of the iceberg for me. I have so much more to learn and someday, possibly, we could be in a museum. <laughs>For me, it's important to preserve this tradition so our future generations don't have to learn about it in a museum. They could actually learn about it from their auntie or learn about it from their mom. Overall, it's been a life-changing experience for me as an artist and on a personal level.